All right, so we are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. If you never played the first Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, there, This is a prequel, so there's not that much uh, in the first game that you really need to know about this game. Uh, so you can watch it, have fun with it, and not really worry about uh, what happened in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll talk a little bit about what happened in Red Dead Redemption 1. Um, I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to spoil anything, but we'll see how it works out. I ended up actually just finishing the game like last weekend, um, which is kind of hilarious. So anyways, I'm playing this on my Xbox. So I got a capture card going and all that fun stuff. So uh, TV's here, computer's here. So, you know, things are a little different than like when I live stream for Civ, just cause like, you know, I'm gonna be facing different directions. But anyways, so what we're gonna be doing is let's go ahead and just like launch into a brand new game. Um, I think the sounds and everything are uh, fine. I, I did some testing beforehand, but you know, if the audio is too loud or whatever, you guys just need to let me know really 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 excited about this game uh, like i said i played about 20 minutes last night um and absolutely loved it so everything seems a lot slower than red dead redemption one like it seems less arcadey and i actually am really cool with that like that's one of my favorite things about it yo sims what's up yes also new haircut i really need a cowboy hat since we're playing some western stuff but yeah yeah she does a really good job one of the reasons i really like going to her is because um she is a quote unquote perfectionist and like you can't really see but just like some of like the cuts she made i'm like dang that's like legit so i'm really really happy with her so we should be spamming out jeff too because we so by 1989 1899 the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end this is i guess our little intro I love the like backdrop on this whole thing. It looks so cool. America was becoming a land of laws, which seems like a good thing. Even the West had mostly been tamed. Yay, Jeff. I'm gonna spam out my Michigan Jeff, even though Michigan's not playing this weekend. Uh, a few groups still roamed, a few gangs still roamed, uh, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. And so we're basically one of those gangs. Rockstar Games presents Red Dead Redemption 2. One thing this game doesn't have is every time you start Red Dead Redemption 1, it had like this like uh, Western kind of like doo doo doo, and then it was like shh because it was like a revolver spinning and then like a gunshot. It was like a really cool kind of intro thing. I wish the second one had it because it was one of my favorite things, but oh well. Don't know much about Red Dead Redemption. You really don't need to know anything. This is a prequel. I'll talk a little bit about how it works out, like the things you need to know. Basically, all you really need to know for this one is we're part of a gang and we're on the run from the law. Game is so nice looking though, especially considering like this is Xbox. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There, Arthur. Any luck? Kill them all. Yeah. I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, dies. An old man you know. in town. Bandit. It ain't far. Come on. Come on. So now Dutch is the leader of the gang, if you're completely unfamiliar. Uh, in the original Red Dead Redemption, you play as John Marston, who's a part of the gang. We hadn't met him yet. Uh, I hadn't actually met him even when I played last night yet. Uh, but you play as John Marston, and your whole goal is to hunt down this whole gang. Uh, basically, the FBI employs you to go uh, kill off the gang um, because of, you know, all the stuff that they did, all the bad stuff they did. So... Dutch is the leader of the gang, and we don't play as John Marston in this game. We play as uh, the other guy who was just on the horse. I forgot his name. Uh, I don't know if I like him yet. Uh, just a little bit I played. His voice actor, I don't know. It's a little different. So Dutch is an interesting character because Dutch is like completely crazy in the first one uh, in the original Red Dead. And so this one takes place like 12 years before that one. And Dutch is actually kind of a nice guy in this one. So we're gonna have to like, I don't know, it'd be intriguing to see him go crazy. So uh, 
Get that fire lit, quick. The black haired girl right there is Please Abigail. Bring in whatever blanket she you is John Marston's wife Peterson? in the first one. See what we've got in terms of food. Rest of these guys, I don't know. Davy's dead. Yeah, that's There's Abigail. Nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here. How about we take the dead body out of the house? <laughs> I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. That's Dutch talking. Arthur and I. We're gonna Arthur. That's who we are. See if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now we've had. Well, a bad couple of days. <laughs> to say the I least. Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. Ted, Jack, we Paul. Don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it. Now, I don't know if I believe him. He sounds very but convincing, but I I don't know. We're going to ride out, and we're going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce. Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. That was inspiring. See, I, I don't know. It seemed pretty honest. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. <laughs> I, we need you strong. Okay. The horses, like, they feel so cool in this game. Like, in the first game, there was, like, I don't know, any Rockstar game has, like, this, like, weightlessness to your characters. And it's kind of hard to, like, move them. But in this game, they feel really good. Now, do I have to tap A the whole time? Because I'm not really excited about that. Slow down. Also, too, that is a lot of freaking snow. Ow. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get somehow I doubt that. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkertons tailing us in this. Okay, now what's interesting is, so he mentions the Pinkertons. So, I don't know American history well enough if the Pinkertons were actually, like, people. Like, you know, a, a prominent family. The thing that's funny is, so, uh, in uh, Deadwood, which was an HBO series, the Pinkertons are, um, they're behind the scenes, but they actually put a lot of pressure on uh, the town that uh, Deadwood uh, takes place in. So, it's kind of weird that they also mentioned the Pinkertons. So, I'm imagining the Pinkertons must have really been a family. And so, at least in Deadwood, they were, like, this super rich family that had, like, government under control, bought, paid for, and all that stuff. So, I don't know if we're going to see some of the Pinkertons, because... I don't remember them in the first Red Dead, so. A couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? <laughs> Dude, those snow effects look so cool. Just like walking over and just making like the, the path. 
Pinkertons were a national Mike. detective agency. Ah, that makes more sense. Found anything? I think so. So, okay, in uh, Deadwood, though, they were an actual, like, they were a family, I thought. So you're saying they're like a government agency. Hmm. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Woo! Party. <clears throat> How's Davey doing? Let's go party. He didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac and Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. So I wonder if I stay in the tracks, will I go faster? Now John is John Marston from the first game. So double tap A. So I want to pass him, but it won't let me. This is cool though. This is new. Uh, are you sure about this? Like you couldn't like lock onto people in the first game and like talk to them. That's like so cool. Not government, private. They're responsible for stopping and attacking Lincoln. Oh. I love how you know more about this than I do. Too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, okay. I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up killing him at some point. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Easy. Okay. Let's head down there. Yep. And let's not jump off the cliff. Because I've seen... I've seen uh, uh, videos. It, it does not go well. Okay, so our health's down there. Now, what's cool about this game is if you're not wearing the wrong clothes, or if you're wearing the wrong clothes for the weather, then it, like, gives you debuffs and stuff like that. Only know about the Lincoln thing, just Googled a little more, apparently. They still exist. Huh. Huh. Now, this is the biggest change, I think, between 1 and 2, is they changed the controls for hitching. Hitching was X in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's thrown me thus far. It's like, oh crap, it's the wrong button to Let hitch. Do the we don't scare these folks. Look at how cool this looks. Look at that snow. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking badass. I wonder if we went backwards, if all of our pathway is still there. there. Like, I wonder if it keeps going all the way back. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Especially you, Micah. Hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. Go to the shed, press RB to take cover. Okay. Like, everything about it, you just have more weight. It just, like, feels so much better. It's so cool. So we can turn left or right. Okay, we can look around. Is those fish? Cabbage. Seems like you might want to bring those inside. What you want? What you want? I'm very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Hello. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, there's a corpse right here. Uh-oh. Arthur. Some there's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just keep your eyes on Dutch. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, um, 
In the first game, you have a thing called uh, Deadeye, where basically you click in the right controller button, and then you can like lock on a bunch of people and then pull the trigger, and it just like shoots them all automatically wherever you like lock it. I don't have that access yet. Like I can't do that. So I'm trying. I ain't asking for much. I wonder what happens if we shoot Dutch. Please. Game over. I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. It's goddamn. I think we hit the wrong guy. Now, this is really loud in my ears. Oh my gosh. Hold up, I gotta turn that down, oh my lord. I don't know how loud that is for you guys. Um, so in the first game, it was like really easy to cheese the system, uh, cause you could just like pull the trigger and anytime you pulled the, uh, the, the left trigger, it locked on someone and it made the game really easy cause you just like pull left trigger shoot, pull left trigger shoot and just boom, 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 like almost fully automatic. This game seems to be a little more like you actually have to aim. So I don't know if I like that. <laughs> like, we can't really do that there. Actually, you're dead. Oh, hi. Goodbye, punks. Okay, run after the outlaw, press A. Oh, I got you. I got you. You're not getting out of the way. You're not getting away. You dead? Boom. <laughs> now that's just badass shooting someone in the back. What's up, Radio Rogue? Uh, time to look at Game of the Year for 2018. Yeah, probably. I, I Like I, uh, I said this earlier, I have about 20 minutes in this game thus far, and like, oh my gosh. This is one of the best games I've ever played already. See, okay, the problem is the voices are quiet, but the gunshots are ridiculously loud. I don't know if that's the same for you guys. I turned the dialogue balance. Let's turn the dialogues up. Let's try this. That might screw up your guys' audio. Or it'll be Fortnite. Oh god, please no. <laughs> Didn't Fortnite technically come out last year though? Uh, I'm gonna lower your guys' volume just a hair, so you gotta let me know on the balance. Uh, back. By the way, this is the coolest looking settings menu I think I've ever seen in my life. Other thing to note, uh, let's see general. Oh hey! Temperature, Fahrenheit, autosave, on, weight, pounds, clock, 12 hours. Yep, very American. We could turn it European for everyone, but uh, what's the display? Brightness, colorblind, kill effects, on. Yeah, I think we're good with all that. We turned subtitles on. The other thing I noticed last night when I was looking is... Do we have it unlocked yet? Arthur, these are characters, progress, story, maybe? There's a cheat something. Like, there's a, a, a part of the map, or part of the game where it's, like, cheats. And apparently you unlock cheats, and you can actually put the cheats in the game, which is kind of cool. So, this is the map. This is all we know. Oh my god. What? Okay, this is ridiculously large. Like, where am I? Oh, wow. That's a big map. That's a big map. Watch the first hour of the game, and it's amazing. Yeah, I got about 30 minutes in, and I'm absolutely loving it. It, it seems like they slowed everything down a lot, too. Like, I think... See, that volume still doesn't seem that loud. Uh, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to change this one more time. Audio, we're going to bump up... There's no... Let's turn the sound volume down just a little bit. I'm going to turn down one. And then I'm going to turn my TV volume back up. So, alright, let's try that. But they seemed like they slowed everything down in the game. Because, like, for example, if I want to search the cabinets, I hold X. And then you open the cabinets. Then you have to hold X to take every individual bottle. They just made it, like, very realistic, which is so cool. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on you. And we want to close it, you know. We live in a... We don't live in a barn. Uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. 
Get your strength up for the ride back. That's the other thing. You also have to eat. So, satchel. If you don't eat, uh, you have to hold it. If you don't eat, then you start taking debuffs too. So, baked beans gives us health and stamina. Health and dead eye core. Let's just eat that. Okay. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. With the streamer I watched, the first hour with standard volume setting was really good. Okay. Let me know how this is. Uh, take. Take. It's just so weird to play a game where, like, you just don't auto-loot everything. I really like the slower nature of it. Makes a very realistic feeling. I think we got everything here. Take this. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Wait, you're supposed to yell at me at this. <laughs> hmm. Poor bastard was married too. <laughs> Read. Jake and Sadi wedding, September seventh, eighteen ninety six. Let's judge the wedding photo. Man, did you like, I mean, come on. You can get better wedding photos than that. Just come on. Examine. I think we got everything here. So let us go check here. We got a nice little, we're not going to like loot every single thing probably in this world. Um, but I definitely want to do as much as possible. Once again, we don't live in a barn. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. We'll go grab this stuff here, and then we're going to go upstairs real quick. Now, I'm assuming the jewelry you sell. I don't know, though. Take. Stars of... Okay. Inspect card. Oh, hi. That's a different card than I got yesterday. I don't know what these cards are for. Stars of the stage, one picture packed in each box. Okay. Huh. I don't know what those are for. I guess just collectibles and maybe you get something at the end of them? It's interesting because that's a different card than I got last night. Last night I got a card with a horse on it, so... Take. Give me the ammo. Uh, I am looting like you told me. <laughs> this is so cool, by the way. It's so cool how you can just answer. Uh, okay. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Now, the only thing I don't know is... You know, there was that gunner in the other window. I don't know how we get up there. Blood. Like, how do you get up there? I don't think you can, but oh well. Open the door. And we're going to close the door because... Oh, crap. Ah. Hold up. Hold up. We're trying to close the door, man. Trying to keep it nice and warm in there. Eh. Okay. Boom. Because we were not born in a barn. We know how to close the door. Now, can you loot people? I don't think I can loot people yet. Nah, it doesn't look like it. View my current objective. Investigate the barn. I think it's a collectible. Okay. Open barn door. <laughs> Way to look up. Get punched. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> You little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Beat him. Find out what they're doing here and where Comb is. Oh, this son of a bitch <laughs> talks. Where's Comb, O'Driscoll? I want to I wanna keep beating. With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? I want to keep beating. We're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the track. That's cool. I'm like fake punching him. 
<laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. <laughs> Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. Okay. So we could choke him to death and we could kill him now. Or we can let him free. And he'll probably freeze to death. So I'm going to spare him and be nice. But I actually think this is probably uh, less nice. I think it would be better just to kill him and let, instead of letting him die in the, you know, uh, weather. Whoopsie. I hit RB, not LB. Pick up. I love how you have to, like, pick up your gun and your hat again. That's cool. You can apparently lose your hat, from what I've heard. I read in, like, the pre-release stuff. And now for the best part of the game. Petting animals. Yeah. Pat him. Pat him. Pat him. Love the horse. Good horsey. Good horsey. No, just keep petting him. Keep petting. Oh, I'll fine. I'll lead. It's good for the karma. <laughs> it's not infamous, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're probably not going to go infamous, honestly. I don't know if I really want to be chased by bounty hunters the whole time. The other thing is, I heard, I think it was the IGN's review on the game, they were talking about how, like, being a good guy, maybe it was GameSpot, one of them was talking about being a good guy felt different, because, like, you'd still go rob banks and stuff like that, but then you're still being a good guy, so I'm kind of intrigued to see if it works well, so, I don't know, maybe I'll do, like, an evil playthrough some time in my life, but I think we want to do a good playthrough this time. You guys might talk me into murdering people, though, I don't know. Uh-oh. Of course Micah's doing something bad. <laughs> Good job, Micah. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. So I guess the women and children aren't gonna come stay in this house now. Thanks, Micah. You okay, miss? <laughs> You're a bank robber with honor. <laughs> yes. with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. <laughs> we ain't them. You could have grabbed her wedding photo before you left. It's okay. So at least she would have a memory of her husband. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. Maybe she wanted to stay in her house. Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I, Miss. He. He was my husband. I love the music. It's like straight out of Western. Yo, calm down. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get What's up, on? Smooth? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. And then Micah burned the whole place down. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is, but we found... Some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. Is it too dark?
I'm looking at the preview monitor. It looks a hair dark. I'm gonna try brightening up the brightness. Cal calibration. Yeah, different TV. Let's do something a little more like that. Okay. Usually games, you can't make them too bright. Well, you can, but... Safe now. Yeah, that looks better. You turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Because you burned down a house. Punk. Bright. It's not too bright, right? Alert. Autosave slot already contains. Yes. Autosave. Alright. Oh, so this is literally where I ended last night when I was playing, so...